Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to securely delete files. Now, um, when you delete a file, um, it's not really deleted. What it is, is just the index for that file is removed. And uh, the space where that file is uh, becomes available for overwriting when that space is needed. So as long as that um, that space is not needed, that file is actually still there and it can be recovered. Now sometimes even if that file is overwritten, uh, there are some uh, advanced methods uh, where it could be possible to retrieve that file. And this is not easy and you have to take the, the hard drive apart and look at it with a uh, high-powered microscope and it takes a very a long time so um, it's very unlikely that somebody would uh, would do that but just to be safe um, to make that impossible you have to write overwrite that file many times um, some people say 25 times is a, is a good number um, it, it will make it impossible to retrieve that file now um, it is possible to to securely delete files in Ubuntu and um, to do this you have to go to your uh, Synaptic Package Manager and search for Nautilus Actions and it's right there now um, after you install this you have to go to your system and preferences and go to uh, Nautilus Action actions configuration okay once you do that go to add and in the label just uh, type shred um, for the tooltip you can type anything you want but I'm just gonna say uh, securely erase files and you pick an icon now you might want to pick an icon that would be uh, that would warn you something that's not you know something that's visible that will get your attention so you don't accidentally delete an important file so I, I always choose warning because it gets my attention so uh, once you pick an icon um, in the profiles you go to add and for the path you type shred and for the parameters you type dash f space dash u space and dash v space and also dash Z and go ahead and uh, type a space and also percentage symbol and a capital M now uh, what these parameters do for example like the dash F uh, it changes the permission of a file uh, in case you don't have the permission to, um, to uh, write the file and it will do that for you so to delete the file the dash u uh, will remove the file after the rewrite the dash v will uh, show you the progress while deleting the file and the dash c would uh, overwrite that space where the file was with zeros in your hard drive and uh, the percentage symbol and the capital M will just show you the, the name of the file and the path to it. Okay, so after you do that, go to conditions and for the file name just leave that as an asterisk 
uh, for the mime types leave that now uh, if you want to be able to shred uh, folders you can go ahead and uh, select that or if you want to be able to shred folders and files you can select both but I don't rec recommend that because you could accidentally delete some important files that you have in some folder so I just leave it at only files so you can only delete the files and also go ahead and check this uh, this will give you the, abil the ability to shred multiple files so if you select 10 files that you want to shred you can just select all of them and right click and go to shred okay so once you do that you just go to OK and OK again and close now for this to work you have to go to terminal we have to quit Nautilus and uh, restart it so you just type so we just type uh, Nauc Nautilus dash Q and that will quit it and we just type Nautilus again to start it okay so I'm gonna go to test this I'm gonna go to my home directory and I create a document right here just to show you how this works so let's say I want to delete this document I put some test uh, some uh, text in this document too so what you do you just right click and go to shred and that's it the the file is securely uh, erased now if you have uh, some of those softwares that retrieve deleted files you will not be able to um, retrieve that file that we just deleted so um, if you have important uh, data that you that's personal like uh, maybe bank statements or fin financial data it's a good idea to go ahead and use this if you want to delete them and um, so and another thing when you format a hard drive um, it doesn't really delete anything so it, it's possible for somebody to uh, get access to that hard drive and uh, retrieve everything so um, to be safe use this method to delete your uh, important data thanks for watching